I did not keep up my um, uploading. I hope that. Oh, what's that taking up? Hope that everybody had an amazing Christmas and New Year. I know I'm a bit late today. Um, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I had a good Christmas. It was nice. It was stress free to be honest. It was just really, really nice. Um the boys had their first Christmas Eve and Christmas morning at um their dad with his little family. And then had them back at 12 o'clock and we had our partner's daughter at the same time so they all got to come and open their presents all together which was nice I just put a little bit of a buffet on because I just I just wanted a stress free Christmas I couldn't be bothered with making a Christmas dinner so I put on a buffet and yeah it was good um, sorry, I am in the middle of making my shepherd's pie and I look really, really rough. Yes, I've got two new piercings because I made silly choices. <laughs> but they're there now, so we'll just have to deal with it. Um, what am I looking for? Bad. Um, so what's been going on with me? Getting the kids back into a routine, which actually after Christmas hasn't been that bad to be honest. They were really, my, my boys were really poorly over Christmas. Um, and they've, they've only just gotten back to their normal self, like eating. They, they didn't eat for weeks, but they're now scoffing down food, sleeping better. Yeah, so that's really good. Um, I'm some potatoes. Um, I'm starting a new therapy next month, which is going to be a group therapy and a one-to-one -one therapy, which I've been dying for for so long. So. That's really positive for my new year. Um, I had a few issues with drink, not over Christmas. I really drank over Christmas, to be to be honest, because to me Christmas is all about the kids. Had a few cans, you know, didn't had a social drink. Um, so yeah, things are looking, everything's going in the right direction, um, the, I have to see the crisis team, because I haven't been dealing with my PTSD very well, that's the reason, um, awful nightmares, hallucinations, really really edgy not, not dealing with it well feeling like I'm living in living in the past a bit and not being able to shake it which is a horrible feeling but I went and seen the crisis team I spent a night in A&E where I was safe and looked after um, you know I didn't go back to hospital or you know it, it wasn't that bad but I just wanted to be in a safe place for myself from other people and it helped and I've also been using um, helplines uh, there is a helpline I don't know where you know, if any of you would ever need this or um, where any of you are from but I think this is like Wales England Scotland um, 
but it's called call, like C dot A dot L dot L. Um, and it's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, if you just Google that, you will find the number. So if you ever feel like a loose end, it's for mental health. People with suffer from mental health. Any, you know, all different types. But I do find that when I can't speak to my partner or my parents because some things are just um, too horrific, <laughs> just not nice for family members and people who love you to hear, it's it's nice to be able to pick up the phone to speak to somebody you're not emotionally attached to and just blurt it all out and, you know, it really, really does make a difference. So that's a little bit of info for you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to touch base really. I've seen a few people writing on my videos saying can't wait to see more. Sorry this is a bit of a boring one. But I think now when I start these groups I'll probably be using this channel more to kind of express my feelings after them and how they help me, if they help me. Only time will tell, but this is my last opportunity because I have gone on every other group and it's just not worked. <laughs> and I'm on a lot of medication. I say the medication's working. Obviously, when I'm not drinking, medication works even better. But you know, you you can't just pop pills for the rest of your life. It's just not a small way of life. You know. Unless you're in pain, or, well, you know, mentally you can be in pain as well, but, yeah, it's not good to just kind of suppress all your feelings with, with medication that makes you feel like a zombie constantly, you know, what are you going to achieve from that? But I'm trying, I am trying. That's amazing. I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Um, maybe in this video, if because I haven't done a YouTube video for a while, if you want to leave a com comment and you know ask a question, or I might make my next one a little bit easier if I've got something to go on. Because right now it's just. Everybody's just getting over Christmas, aren't they? And getting back into a routine. January's finally... Are we in the middle of January? Oh, I've got a feeling this year is just going to fly by. Like last year. Blinked and it was gone. But yeah, so anyway, I'm just kind of touching base. I'm still here. I'm actually, although I look very, very rough <laughs> today, I am in a good place and um, I'm happy and I love you all. Stay true, be you. Hi guys, I can't even remember what I was saying in my other video when I was making that shepherd's pie. No idea oh, about Christmas, can't really remember. Um, but I'm hoping to have videos back up more often. Um, occupy my mind a little bit. I, I can really, really can't. I should have looked back to what I was already talking about in the other video. That would have made sense, but you know, it's me. That's stress. Don't, don't really mix. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm sure I said leave comments so I can actually have. Because I just ramble on. Th this is a prime example right now. I just ramble on about rubbish. So leave some comments down below and I'll have a look. And I might have something to actually sit down and talk about um, in each video instead of just what's coming to my mind and my boring life. So yeah, I love you all. Bye.